right so next uh, we'll discuss about how to represent composite attributes and multi valued attributes by means of a relation right so composite attributes can be uh, flattened out by creating a separate attribute for each component attribute so example uh, the instructor the composite attribute name has the components a uh, first name middle name and last name the schema corresponding to the entity set has uh, two attributes first name and last name uh, prefix omitted if there is no ambiguity so name name underscore first name could be a uh, first underscore name right so ignoring multi valued attributes so we need to represent multi valued attributes using a separate relation right so phone number is a multi valued attribute it needs to be represented using a separate relation so you are going to just flatten the attributes so instructor contains name name is going to be a complex attribute or composite attribute similarly a uh, street is going to be a composite attribute right so how do you represent a name just you are going to flatten the attributes so id first name middle name last name then you have street number street name apartment number city state zip code and uh, date of birth right so this is how uh, we represent the composite attributes by means of a relation instructor right so you need to have a separate relation for representing the multi valued attributes so let me show you how to represent the multi valued attributes right so for example uh, a multi valued attribute m of an entity e is represented as a separate schema em right so m is a multi valued attribute of an entity set capital e it is represented by a separate schema em right so schema em has attributes corresponding to the primary key of e and an attribute corresponding to the multi valued attribute m right so for example uh, here the multi valued attribute for instructor entity set is going to be phone number it is represented by a schema instructor underscore phone with the attributes id comma phone number right so where id is going to be the primary key of the particular entity instructor right so right so for example an instructor entity with a primary key uh, 222 and with uh, two different phone numbers maps to two tuples right so this is how we represent an multi valued attribute in a relationship in a relational format right so phone number is a multi valued attribute that is present in the relation uh, instructor so what you need to do is that you need to form em so where e is going to be a uh, uh, e represents the uh, entity and m represents a multi valued uh, attribute so instructor underscore phone you are going to have a separate schema which contains the primary key attribute followed by the multi valued attribute right so the instructor schema the primary key attribute is going to be a phone number sorry in the instructor the primary key attribute is going to be id and the multi valued attribute is going to be phone number so the multi valued attribute is represented by uh, the schema name em so entity is going to be instructor m is going to be the multi valued attribute so instructor underscore phone is equal to id comma phone number right so this is how we represent uh, multi valued attributes